Welcome, ladies and gents, to Face It TV. We are here for Face It League North America. I'm DDK, joined by James. We were here earlier. If you, if you missed the EU stream, I guess you missed us, but we're here now, so you can appreciate us. And uh, James, how you doing? I'm okay. I'm good. You know, I'm I'm uh, recovered from the uh, what was it triple overtime we had earlier? Yeah, triple overtime at the end. Yeah. Yeah, that was a pretty epic ma epic match actually. So maybe you caught that being. Uh, you know, in America, on your way back from work or something. So, uh, but we're back for the American stream now, and uh, we've got three matches for you today. What's the first match we have? We have Lunatic versus Mobility. Mobility had a really good showing uh, last time we did this, uh, in the first, the inaugural uh, Face It League North America Cup. So, looking for good things from them. And Lunatic, they've got some. Uh, you know, we ha we had Ricky on before, and he was telling us he's like bigging them up. He's saying these guys have had some really sick games against Cloud Nine. And you know we saw a really good result from them last week as well. So they, these two teams, I think, are pretty evenly matched. We're going to see them playing on Inferno as well. So and you can see the the betting here. A lot of you guys. Yeah, are that's not even. Yeah, that's not even at all. So Lunatic heavily uh, favoured on that. You know, three quarters of the votes there. So yeah, we'll have to see how that goes, won't we? Um, that that's definitely a lot a lot less uh, balanced than I thought it would be. But I guess I guess time will tell, James. Uh, Inferno is is a very balanced map, to be honest. So. Uh, it's it's uh it's all up in the air for me at least. So I'm not sure if you guys are aware though. Um, we have we have an awesome uh, we have these awesome community nights. I know we've been expanding uh, face it into North America now. Um, a lot of you guys have like seen what's happening in the in Europe and have really wanted to see some action in North America. Well, it's been happening slowly. You can play pugs on the platform and stuff. But one thing that we're doing is of course the community nights. And uh, you may have seen those kicking around. But we have a very special community night on the 26th of September. You guys can actually compete for a VIP package. Uh, James, do you want to do you want to introduce that? Okay, so what you can win basically um, by accruing points during the community night, the VIP package is uh, flights and hotel to the land finals in Milan for uh, the well for the land finals. So um, make sure you've got your passport ready and uh, get on the community nights and get uh, across points and see if you can make it out to Milan and meet us guys. And uh, you'll be staying in the same hotel as the players so you can run around, bang on hotel doors and annoy people and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, I mean, you guys can see below, of course, like the prizes, you know, some awesome gear, awesome gear. Oh, wait, at the end there, on 26th, you got that VIP ticket. So yeah, that's yeah. something you definitely don't want to miss out on. I mean, you're probably be nerding it up anyway, you know, playing loads of Counter-Strike. That's kind of the idea of the community nights, just play some obscene amounts of Counter-Strike and rack up those points. And the top 10 uh, will get prizes regardless, whether it's skins, you know, Logitech gear, you know, face it premiums, whatever it is, there's there's prizes to be had. So get in on that action and uh, and uh, let us know what you think about the platform too, if it's, if it's something for, uh, new for you guys. Um, but otherwise, I think that's that's the most impressive thing. We just threw it out there right at the start there, because that's so Guns cool. Guns blazing. Isn't it? That's so cool. It is. It yeah. is pretty cool. Yeah, I've I haven't seen many opportunities to kind of win VIP tickets to to land finals uh, for uh, for any event yeah. before. So um, I think that's really nice. You know, it's being done for Europe and America as well. So both uh, territories are being given an equal chance to win these prizes. Definitely. So we're just waiting for all the players to jump on onto the server, actually. And uh, as of yet, we are awaiting number 10. We had some problems getting everyone on the server, but I think everything will get resolved. Of course, you guys probably saw there's a bit of a delay there. But um, uh, Jace, how do you feel about the American scene so far? I know we usually only get to see Iberpower and Cloud9 uh, because they're the two teams that um, are blessed to go to the, the European events. And that's, yeah. Of course, that's what's in our time zone, mostly. So yeah. That's what we usually see. Well, um, you know, I'm 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 really glad that we have expanded into America here and uh, we're getting to see more American teams. So it's nice to see Lunatic. They did put out a good showing last week as well. You know, we're we're familiar with some other teams like Exertus and Netco Guides. Um, so you know, I really enjoy seeing the American teams and the the, the clash of styles between European Counter Strike and American Counter Strike. Like we've seen the differences on cash where. Uh, they they have their angles through squeaky etc. Uh, really done, but you don't really see that kind of wall banging whatsoever in the, in in Europe. And then uh, just the way mid is played, just just as one example. So yeah, I'm always uh, the more matches we can see from America, the the better basically. Yeah, and uh, just got informed there by production. If we get 20k concurrent, we're going to be start starting to drop those skins. If you're a follower of the channel. Um, if you're not, press that follow button and you can be one of the people, the lucky people when we hit 20k to actually uh, get some skins. So everyone loves skins. I know you do, James. You've, you've got some, a nice collection of skins. I don't even know what your trophy skin is because you've got loads of awesome ones. So. I, I just spent a lot of money on them, so uh, I, I, I don't know. I, don't say, I wouldn't say I have a trophy skin. Um, I like my Mag 7 skins, actually. Mm. 
So my Mag 7 Hazard is not the most expensive skin, but it's probably my favourite at the moment. Um, but yeah, get your get your sisters and get your mothers to uh, on the stream, and then, and then get them to add me on Steam as well. J to That's so, uh, not creepy at all. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, just the mothers, just the mothers, just the mothers, just just the mothers. That's that's not creepy, at James. <laughs> Do you think you got some problems, James? I've been awake. I've been awake too long. It's two a.m. What yeah. can I say? You got work in the morning. You're all, you're yeah, <laughs> you're that's uh, dedication, right yeah, here. Yeah, putting putting the time in for Counter Strike for you guys. And and also, I think you're back with me tomorrow again as well. Yeah, back again so tomorrow for the uh, second European day as well. So no sleep for you. Back to work. Finish work. Back to casting. Has to be done. <laughs> oh my God, this this guy just. You should you should tweet him and just just send him some love of some sort, or maybe more skins. You can always use more skins, right? I I, I wouldn't want to take skins from near. I'd rather they bet them on CS:GO Lounge instead no, on the that's matches. That's, that's a good use. Can we have a look at the rankings page and see how we're shaping up after the week one? Let's have a look. All right. So of course we see uh, the wind coming in from Cloud9 and Nicker guys, as expected, and also for Iwai Power. So gen generally expected results so far. Yeah, it's, um, a fa it's, a f it's a fairly clean board so far mm -hmm. after just one week of uh, the event. So we've got three wins and three losses, basically. So uh, it's all tied up at the moment, but we'll see what happens after today's matches. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the, the teams to really look at, are, I think, at the moment, do seem to be you know, teams like Lunatic and... From what I saw last week, mobility did look pretty strong. I know that the, the, the betting doesn't really support my argument there. Everyone's like, no, you're, every, yeah, with you the betting, know. everyone's just saying, no, you're wrong. You're just wrong. But I feel like I feel like mobility showed some good stuff, and uh, you know, Lunatic they didn't look unstoppable. So um, one yeah. thing I'm waiting to see from these American matches later on. I'm not sure which week is going to happen, but I buy Power versus Cloud Nine because I, I think it's pretty safe to say that Cloud Nine are considered the superior team from America. Of course, at yeah. the moment, yeah, at the but moment. I buy Power always beat Cloud Nine, and I want to find out why. <laughs> so um, we're gonna we're gonna get that match eventually. It's not gonna be this week, but maybe next week we'll find out and have a look at the. Uh, the schedule on on league.faceit.com, but um, I I want I want to know why I want to know why Cloud9 can't seem to figure I by Power out, or maybe you know I by Power have figured Cloud9 out. I mean that seems to be the case. It's it's I don't know. Do you have any theories, James? Are there any theories that you want to throw out there? Well, I think we just got to we got to we got to connect to the match and uh, and find out when it's when it's yeah. up in the in the schedule. I think we are jumping into the knife round now. And uh, yeah, right now, it's just nice. So the standard, the standard thing. I mean, it's, this is a map where you're not really bummed out if you, if you, you know lose the knife and get put on T side. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's, <laughs> it's on a nuke. So they did, they had the the double boost jump there from the CTs. Can we get the RTS view, the top down? Oh, look at this, it's top down. Ah, oh, it's too slow. It's like RTS. That's really nice work there, DDK. I know, it's a bit I'm going slow. to move the keyboard further to the right. <laughs> it's already on your side, man. <laughs> I'm going to be fighting for that thing by the end of the night. I want control. I need control, James. Don't ask me what that accent was. Because I don't know. Moving swiftly on. It looks like we're going to have mobility on the CT side. So we'll see what they have to offer. Again, we have got some nice tactics on Inferno coming out for the American teams, such as I buy power doing the double Molotov. Um, but we'll see if the other teams have adopted that or if they have tactics of their own. Let's see. So it looks like Slip is playing for Shazam, who uh, couldn't make it on time for Ooh. the beginning of today's match. And we're already seeing some uh, some hijinks here from Ability. They're doing a four-man push down Banana. So we'll have to see if this actually yields a result. And in they go, and they're not going to spot anything on the slope. They're going to come up behind here, and there's actually a guy in the crawl space. I wonder if they'll be able to deal with him. They are aware of his position, so they're kind of holding up for a moment whilst they deal with that. And all of a sudden, Lunatic are going to feel loads of pressure coming in from the behind here, so they've got to be very careful. Stanislaw with it, one nice frag there, but that's going to go unreturned after a while. I mean, no teammates there to get the trade, so it's looking quite even. Slip is uh, on two points of health, pretty much bleeding out at the moment. Davey's going to get taken out as well, so we have a two versus three situation with the bomb down on A. So this is actually quite decent here for Lunatic. And it's like Sidoff actually going to take the kill there. And he's going to go for the defuse. There's actually nothing Daps can do from that position. He's got to run around, but he's getting blocked. Oh, it's going to be the defuse. And uh, Slip and Zek just going to finish him off. And that was a cool round by Mobility. There's the four man down banana, no fear. Just going for it. Okay, so I think Slip's on sh some shenanigans because he's saying he's oh, playing yeah. for Shazam, but Shazam's playing on the other team. So uh, we'll just ignore the chat for the time being. Uh, so it is 1-0 to uh, Mobility. So that's a good start for the CT side. 
Oh, it's the more expensive side on any map. Let's see what the T's have to offer on this second round here. Passive on Banana to start, expecting the uh, grenades, no doubt, and uh, Fuckly will lead the charge, slow as it might be. Takes a few shells from the Nova there, goes back towards mid. Seeing what they can find here, really, just looking to see if anyone from Ability is going to stick their neck out for some damage. And, you know, obviously a pick is going to mean the world of good for Lunatic. And other than that, I mean, you waste some nades from mobility before they actually hit it. You know, they can't just charge through smokes on bananas, so they're just waiting for all those to dissipate. Dap's in a very good position in Boiler here to actually catch any rotating players or be a bit sneaky, generally speaking. So this is pretty, this is turning out to be quite a standard little uh, play here. 4-1 from the split on towards B. And we do have Sid off with two kills already with that FAMAS. Sansor chiming in with a couple of his own. And this round has been pretty much shut down. Dap's actually kind of losing his nerve over in Boiler and actually coming back down mid <laughs> instead of assaulting CT Arch. He's just going to try to find uh, find that bomb, but that's well and truly guarded on the site. So, decent hold here from Ability. And uh, I like the idea from Lunatic, but uh, of course, you know, they weren't really expecting all that much. A couple kills would have been fantastic, but uh, not even able to manage that. Either way, having gotten the bomb down in the first round, we will see their buy now. So it's a fairly standard round for mobility. Looks like they're not expecting the, the force buy here, and Davey's going to stick with his Nova for the time being. So he may be in for a surprise soon into this round. Helmets for all players on both sides. So we'll see. There's a surprise there for uh, Stanislaw. Goes down in mid. And now the information has been revealed. They had a three-man push to, towards B to the CTs, and they have uh, two people rotating to... A, now they've got control of bottom of banana, but are they ready for this uh, double stack on the plant pot, which has dissipated for the time being? Oh, mm. Davy, no! Oh, the, the no, it was perfect, it's perfect. Just had to hit the shot, but Davy will go uh, down there, and uh, of course we're going to see a three-player situation for mobility. They are man down to lunatic. We are trying to make this uh, this A site work for them. Trying to find openings on the part miss. Do get smoked out. And looks like a four-man push through quad. There's almost nowhere else to go. Smokes everywhere else. In they go. Fugly going to get the frag onto Zek with the HE. Set off in the corner of the site. Nothing to be done for him. And Slip is just chilling there by Speedway. And I feel like I feel like Slip is uh, going to get hunted down very shortly. At least uh, at least Lunatic should be able to easily afford... I mean, it's, it's easily worth the investment to go hunting for him right now, as they know there's one guy left. Mm, look at their money, though, is it? I mean, well, look at look at uh, their money as well. It's it's definitely worth it because they're gonna get they're gonna get the the win here. I mean, I think it's worth it at least. Maybe it's one of those situations which you can say is marginal. But, yeah, uh, yeah, I would agree. I think it, it's the third round, so uh, it's you know, yeah, I think it is marginal. Either either decision is viable. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. I would go for it. Just a lot of them are low on HP. Though. They had two guys on 20 HP and one on five. So it could have gone horribly wrong. Yep, it's, it is a bit risky, that's for sure. Either way, we're going to see ourselves the bike coming out from mobility. And so that's all going to be able to keep on to that Famous. And Lunatic AK is all around, obviously. They've got full nades apart from Shazam. And. What kind of banana aggression are we going to see here? Just some pre-nading coming in from mobility to begin with as they hold uh, set off uh, over there on the sandbags. And th there are some really nice pop flashes you can do there and Stanislaw is on the angle, so he can draw attention. So right now we're seeing a pretty slow affair here as both teams are feeling one another out. We have mobility trying not to get picked and Lunatic uh, trying to get the picks, trying to find something anything, any information as well. As they make their way towards mid now. They do have a very solid presence on apartments. They've got a guy in boiler. Actually, two guys very near boiler as well. Looks like they're rotating back towards the B bomb site here. This could be very interesting with those two guys in boiler. This could be quite a nice pincer movement. They decide to commit here for B. Fugly trying to go in. They make the entry frag just about onto Stanislaw. Then falls back. Very good stuff there. But they've run the clock down quite a lot. They're going to have to commit now onto A. Ability should be able to work this out relatively soon now. That's with, in with some nice spam through the smoke. And it looks like Lunatic are going to go for this now. 
forced to go up CT Arch because of the smokes. They do make the trade kill there. Gaining some ground again. More trades coming in. They are gaining ground though, so it's a really big result for them. And they're going to wrap around the side. Davy though, over at quad. Could mean the difference here. He's got to come out huge with a couple frags if he wants to really make this uh, retake viable. Davy going to go in though. Not going to get any kills at all. And Daps will take him out from pit and set off there. He's going to say goodbye and just go and save the M4. So there you go. Great, uh, great round from Lunatic. They're very slow, but uh, very methodical, and they managed to make it work. Yeah, that was a, an awkward situation there for Davey on mid. He had a guy in Apps who uh, made his way over to pit and had the guys on site. So he was in two minds as to what to do. You know, if he goes for if he goes for the guys planting the bomb, does he get a shot from uh, pit? So didn't manage to get any frags there. And sort of, we'll save this one weapon for the CTs, as I expect it will be a, a full eco all round. Maybe Stanislaw and Pizer CZ, but other than that, should be uh, a full eco here from the CTs. Definitely not looking uh, good times there, economically speaking. But uh, for Lunatic, you know, they are starting to build their bank. Got a couple of players near 6k and uh, the others will be following closely. If they have a relatively clean round now, obviously Sidoff has that M4, so it's going to be really interesting to see what he's actually able to accomplish with that. They're not going to do anything fancy on this round. They've got three players towards B, and the Slip just chilling over by CT Arch. So, um, mobility going to play it cool at this point in time. And Lunatic, of course, they know what they're up against. They, they know that they need to play this passively in, in case there's any kind of desperation moves with those pistols coming out from their opponents. So they are holding steady. And we've already seen that they are very content to run the clock down. The slightest of gap. Let's see where he is positioned. Ah, oh, he's in the corner. Okay, so he's not going to see him. Juno with a couple of kills there. Just going to get the three kill as well. And there is uh, all of the B defense completely annihilated in one fell swoop. I'm going to see a slip go for the rotation here. Sidoff, though, he might be in a good position to get some kills. And that, in fact, in actual fact, the bomb is going to be in this area. He's going to get sniffed out, though, and he's actually going to get taken out without any return as well. So, oh well, you know, not a huge deal. But uh, but that if this is completely clean, it's going to start getting a little bit scary because you know Lunatic are going to be th you know further and further away from having to eco, even if they lose, you know, four rounds, because look at how much money they've got now in the bag. This is this is uh, really, really, really solid. Yeah, they've won a fair few rounds in a row now without losing too many players. So uh, six to 9,000 in the bank here for Lunatic and Mobility on the next buy, but they've got n or nothing. They've literally got no money across the entire team. So they really need to win this round with as uh, little damage as possible. And there's like almost no nades as well for mobility. They're operating with a, a very flimsy um, tool belt. Not a lot on it. And Shazam going to make the entry frag into Nana with that uh, AK-47 onto Stanislaw. And now it's problem. Sidoff forced back to construction. He has to wait for teammates to come in as his position was a little too... A little too shaky there to really do much with as Netka guys... Uh, sorry, Netka guys, reading his name there. Lunatic, you managed to actually clean out the bomb site quite effectively. But that bomb is far away. It's, it's miles away, actually. It would almost be better just to send it away at this point with an escort. Because look at the attention drawn by Mobility. They've had so much time to go for the rotation. They're on top of the bomb site right now. The bomb finally coming in, but it's dropped on the site. It has to get picked up. Still needs to be planted. Mobility have to be scratching their heads, wondering what is happening with the bomb there. Davey was a little bit behind because they were so confused about that situation. But it is a three on three now with Mobility already on top of this. So let's see if they're able to make the retake happen. Execution. It's got to be precise here as they make their way in gradually. Slip with a couple kills. Fugly with one. And Slip gets the third. Good triple there coming out from him. And the defuse does come in as well. That bomb, uh, James. <laughs> was that, you think that was a miscommunication or what? Yeah, I, I'm not sure what happened there. But uh, yeah, it was an option to potentially go to the uh, A bomb site after all that. It was probably a, a safer idea to go to the B bomb site, regardless. But I mean, that is the, probably the latest plan I've ever seen after taking a yeah after taking the site. Um, Interesting. Mobility do take the round with two players, but again, they all had a zero in the bank, so Davies left with uh, Mag Seven and the smoke for this particular round. So again, they they need to they needed to win the round ideally with more players surviving, um, so they could. So it could be cheaper for them, basically. So have this uh, this push on banana. It's quite they're quite close to logs actually, and uh, starting to try to suffocate their opponents lunatic. So 
nice position. Actually, I don't think I think they got there without smoking it as well. There is a smoke there now, though. Let's have a look. What Sif can do in this one on one. He's going to get taken down by Fugly. Very, very nice entry kill. Great no scope coming in from Shazam. And now they're all over the A bomb site at this point. Set off in a one versus five, and quickly dispatched by 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 Naf there. Yeah, this is this is uh, not going very well for mobility at the moment, and they will find themselves ecoing again. Possibly a double eco. Davy only with fourteen hundred in the bank this round, and after yeah, winning yeah. that, their their round loss bonus has been reset. So uh, it's going to be a long road ahead here on the CT side for mobility. Uh, yeah, definitely. It's it's early days though. So that they have that to console them for now, but as you say, you know, this is this is definitely dangerous territory. It's not something you can really let happen more than once. Yeah, I don't think three or seven rounds on the CT side is that early for the for mobility. I think they're in trouble here. And I guess we'll have to have to wait and see how things develop now. So we do have this push coming in up banana from Lunatic. And they go. Pistol's not really doing much at the moment. Fogley with three frags. Make that a quad kill. Just gunning them down. Eco frags. Oh, so tasty. And I'm sure he's like padding out his stats at this point. And she's been making quite a few kills. Let's have a, have a quick look, shall we? This is just 11. Just 11. Well, the next up is five. So uh, he's doing quite well at the moment. Going to leave the bomb in spawn, it seems. So a bit of a disorganization in the ranks. Let's see what's going on here. Interesting. So I'm not sure exactly what the issue is. I'm not sure if the lag that we're experiencing is just GoTV or whether it's server or the server itself. But obviously the players are having an issue. And uh, <laughs> we'll have to see how that actually ends up going. Either way, though, um, it, is, it is looking like a very pivotal point in the first half here from Ability. They're not really going to get another chance after they make this uh, double eco. As you said, you know, the 3-7 kind of scoreline, it's, it's going to be this situation where... They've got to go big or go home, um, on, at least as far as the first half is concerned. Uh, you know, for for you know, just the issue of not making their life really difficult on the second half because it, it you know it's it's a uh, it's a very flimsy situation for them. So I'm not sure what to really expect. We're seeing a lot of default standard stuff from from Lunatic. They seem to be really uh, making those entry kills, and that's that's the back. They've had a, a lot of uh, plays work out, work out on the back of that so far. Yeah, it, they seem to be quite on point, uh, Lunatic, and they just they're getting they're getting the peaks basically. They're winning all the duels. They're just shooting uh, mobility in the head, basically. <laughs> I mean, that's that's literally what's happening. That's they're Counter Strike, just, ladies and gentlemen. Shoot them in the head. They're just all getting shot in the head, and uh, that's like the biggest problem for mobility. They, uh, I don't I don't know if they're over peaking or if they're not defending the angles properly with smokes or whatever, but but they're just they're just all getting tagged yeah. fairly quickly and. The map's being opened up uh, with lots of time on the clock for for them. But I mean, mobility—they've they've been having to force by. They haven't had the nades. They've needed to uh, to kind of slow the rounds down as you normally find the CTs doing on Inferno. So there's that to consider as well. Again, they went even after winning the round. They had to force by because they lost three players. Uh, they started the round after the buy with zero, absolutely nothing across the whole team. So you know, one round of two players had to buy a Mag Seven, etc. So it's uh, it's been a difficult start. For mobility, you know, it it could end up being one of those maps. N NBK from LDLC said the other day that sometimes uh, Inferno can be crazy and it's like a, it becomes heavily T sided. So we might f we may find that, that that that's the case as this, as this uh, match develops. But uh, yeah, I think we're about eight to ten rounds in. So. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, we'll take a very quick break, guys, whilst we figure out these technical difficulties. And we'll come back with the match as soon as we're ready to do so. And as soon as we have any information, if the match isn't is, you know, having further problems, we'll, we'll update you guys. So stay tuned. We'll be back as soon as possible with mobility 